What the heck is IBUS, SBUS, PPM, PWM? What do those things even mean when we're talking about drones? Well, I'm going to tell you right now in this video. Hey, everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Real quick, thanks to my Kofi supporters. If you want to support this channel, if you feel like you're getting value out of it, do so at ko-fi.com slash RC with Adam. It's like Patreon, but better. Now, maybe you're just getting started in the FPV drone stuff. You're setting up your receiver and you're wondering, what is this IBUS, SBUS? What, I don't understand which one to choose. What is it even, what even is this? What does this mean? Well, here's what it is. Those are called receiver protocols. So IBUS, SBUS, XBUS, uh, Crossfire, Spectrum, whatever Spectrum's using, all those are called receiver protocols. Conceptually, think of it like uh, languages that we have as humans. So I'm speaking English right now. You might be speaking Hindi. Maybe you're speaking Swedish. Maybe you're speaking German or maybe even Canadian. Uh, but the point is we all need to be speaking the same language if we want to communicate well. Actually, that's why the official standard language for aviation communication is English worldwide. Now, here's a very important thing to point out is that when we say receiver protocol, we're talking about the communication between the receiver and the flight controller. So there's a wired connection going from the receiver to the flight controller. And this is not to be confused with the transmitter protocol, which is the wireless connection from your transmitter to your receiver. So that, that's a different thing. That's gonna be uh, very brand specific. Uh, like for example, FlySky uses afhds 2 a or AFHDS, and there could be multiple uh, kind of versions within the brand, but generally your transmitter needs to match up with your receiver. And typically those will just be of the same brand. Now you have two basic types of receiver protocols. You have analog, and digital. The most common types of analog receiver protocols are going to be PPM and PWM. PPM is okay and sometimes used on older equipment. Um, it does use one wire for one signal wire for up to 12 channels, which is kind of nice, but there's latency, so people don't really use that. And then the other is P -P uh, PWM, PWM. And that is really not used at all for drones. You don't want to use that really, but it's pretty common in other RC vehicles like basic RC airplanes. Now, the other type is digital and digital is going to consist of serial receiver protocols. That's what it's called, serial. So if you see serial, think digital. And that's the, the most common ones are gonna be IBUS, SBUS, uh, Crossfire, XBUS. And so some of these uh, protocols are brand specific. And then some of them like IBUS and SBUS are used um, by multiple brands. Uh, but here's the thing, which one should you actually use? Well, that information is going to be from the manufacturer. So if you can get the manual for your receiver, then you can find out what type of protocol it's supposed to use. In fact, maybe that's why you found this video because it said to use IBUS and you're like, I don't even know what that means. And let's talk about what that actually means. Now, here's the part that a lot of people leave out. You have a physical connection and a virtual connection that you need to set up and get everything talking to each other when it comes to these receivers. We're not gonna go into it super in depth, but I want you to be aware that on your transmitter, if you have the option, whatever type of transmitter you have, if, if it's possible that you might need to set up so that it says IBUS or SBUS or whatever type of receiver protocol your receiver is using. So it's, uh, not all transmitters, you need to set that up, but it's some, it could be a thing. So just keep that in mind. And then on your receiver itself, there might be a, sw a, a switch or a button um, that will change between different types of modes, like maybe IBUS or SBUS, or possibly a solder pad. You might have to actually solder the signal wire and move it to a different pad, uh, just like a little metal pad that says maybe IBUS or SBUS or PPM, uh, but you generally don't want to use PPM. So if you can use IBUS or SBUS or something, something else, a serial rec uh, receiver protocol, that's what you want to use. And then you have your flight controller. Now, depending on the type of flight controller you have, you might have a specific pad or a spot to solder for, uh, it might say PPM, but again, you don't, PPM is not ideal. Uh, it might say SBUS, it might say IBUS, or it might just be a UART, a UART, U U A. did I spell that right? UART, yeah. Each UART uh, is going to be numbered uh, typically. Uh, so it might be like one, two, three. And then each pad is going to have RX and TX. You want to connect your receiver to the RX pad on your flight controller because that's, that's the ingoing information into your flight controller. 
And then, this is the other part that a lot of people leave out, is in Betaflight, or whatever flight controller configurator you're using for your quadcopter, you want to make sure that you set the UART port, uh, that which is the virtual, uh, the virtual representation of that pad on your flight controller, you wanna make sure that that is selected for Serial RX if you are using a Serial RX, which you should be. And then in the configuration tab, at least in Betaflight, you wanna make sure that you set your uh, your receiver to Serial RX, and then whatever brand uh, or type of receiver protocol you are using. And that should do it. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have questions or if I left something out, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you like what you see and you want to see more, consider subscribing to RC with Adam because it's my goal to help you build confidence and competence in the RC hobby. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you again very soon.